Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jock Slade here. Back with another unboxing, and today I've got something very, very special from the good folks over at Titan. It's their collaboration with LeBron James, and it's called Manila to the World. Now, this pair actually dropped back on August 1st, but because of COVID and all this stuff going on with it, they've been really hard to get pairs, and so I was finally able to secure myself a pair. So of course, I wanted to give you guys the details because the details on this one is really, really dope. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, the box, obviously, this is a special edition box, it has Manila to the world. For those that don't know, Titan is in the Philippines. You have the LeBron logo there, you have the Titan logo there, and then you have the size and everything here at the top, Nike LeBron 17 low. Titan University Red and Metallic Gold for the love of the game. So if you are familiar with the Filipino culture, you know that basketball is something that they're very, very passionate about. And that's really what sparked the idea of Titan when they first opened the store back in 2010. The store was a celebration of basketball and you can see a lot of that in this shoe. You can kind of see it here on the cover. You can see like the original setup for the store when it opened. You can see some of the people that they're sponsoring, some of the courts that they've done, the basketball courts. It's really, really dope. So inside the package, we have special edition paper and this has a bunch of the different logos that Titan has had over the years. So they have like the electric bullet. I don't know if you guys watch me on Instagram. So if you see a lot of my Instagram stuff, I usually have on a Titan shirt just because I love their logo. It's this lightning bolt. And so of course they have F-L-O-T-G, which is for the love of the game. They have basketball and just a bunch of different versions of the iconography, icon, iconography, there you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Iconography that they use when it comes to their store. It comes with a miniature magazine. It's a, like a little mini magazine. And this again has Manila to the world and it discusses the history of the store Titan 22 So it has the story of the founders it has Levon and then it also has uh, Jeffrey and then it has my boy my big homie Nico Ramos He's the one that I talk to the most when it comes to Titan and uh, yours truly actually makes a uh, cameo in here as well, a uh, humble brag right there. So big shout out to the folks at Titan for including me. They definitely did not have to do that. I definitely don't deserve to be in this book. I'm just a fan of the brand and that's how I made it. Then they also have like some of the basketball players that they sponsor and some of the kids teams that they sponsor. So it's really, really dope. Some of the collectors, the big collectors in the Philippines. So if you do get a pair of these, make sure you check this book out because they have some really great details about the culture of sneakers and basketball that's happening in the Philippines as well. But enough of the talk. Let's get to the sneakers and here we go. Yeah, these are really, really good. So this is actually the first LeBron 17 low that I've had in hand uh, with the way everything has been impacting us lately that I haven't actually had an opportunity to get my hand on the LeBron 17. And you can see there are a few changes that they did to the sneaker, uh, changes that Titan did as well as Nike basketball. So I'm gonna pull out my 17 here. So here is the Space Jam colorway of the 17 or the Monstars, I believe they call it, of uh, the 17. And right off the bat, you can see a couple of things has changed. Uh, when it comes to the technology, first you can see that the 17 has the full ma max air unit. We still retain that, so you still get that cushioning there at the heel. But on the regular 17, you have these zoom pods in the forefoot, and it looks like they have removed those from here, from what I can tell, I don't see the zoom pods, I don't see it in there. And then here they just have like some basic cushioning here that it goes right under your foot. But for the low, it looks like they switched it up and they added Nike React. You can see there that they have React. So it's a little different in that way. Some of the things that they kept, you see here they had like this TPU piece for containment. They still retain that a little bit, obviously not as pronounced as it is here, but you do still get some of that containment happening right there. The traction patterns look like they are about the same. And then as far as the, the articulation of the outsole, so that's remained as well. So you still have that 
slip, simple articulation there of the forefoot. It looks a little different here where it's not as segmented as on the high. Here on the low, it's not as segmented, but you do still have that articulation if basketball is your concern when it comes to playing in these. Now, moving to the upper, you can see that they have knit posit here and they have the different levels of knit posit throughout the upper, which is a version of fly knit that they've thickened up with some TPU strands to make it stronger. But on these, that is gone. There's no longer knit posit. It's almost like a quilted sort of pattern. This, you can see like it has like these raised, I don't know, I wanna call them bubbles or nodules a little bit there, but they do have a lot of backing and padding so there is a lot of comfort there. I'm not sure what the name of this material is, but it's a it's very soft and it's like a quilted, so I imagine that it's very, very comfortable when you put them on. Again, I haven't tried these on, haven't had an opportunity to play in these because, you know, is there anywhere you can play basketball right now? I don't think so. So, uh, other details, obviously they have the hits of gold there, so you have it on the swoosh where the swoosh is actually stitched on and it has that gold, uh, gold university gold there. You have the LeBron crown there on the heel and then you have the swoosh on the inside as well. So you have both of the swooshes. Now on the tongue is where things get really interesting. So I was speaking about some of the iconography, iconography that uh, they have on the tissue paper. They have it here on the tongue as well. So you have the globe that Titan uses and then you have their lightning bolt and that's sitting on top of the LeBron crown logo. But on the outside of the logo, they have 17 stars, which represents the 17 seasons that LeBron has played in the NBA, which is a very cool, very cool touch. Um, and then another one of the details here on the globe is the a saying here, it says, Para sa Kadakilan, Kadakilan? I, I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but I'm gonna say it again, Para sa Kadakilan, which is one of LeBron's favorite saying, which is strive for greatness. So that's it in Filipino, and I don't know if it's Filipino is the proper way to say that, but uh, Para sa Kadakilan, Kadaki, Kadak, Kadak Ilan, Kadak, Kadak Ilan. I don't, I don't, I'll put the text on the screen and someone in the comments, please tell me how to say it right. And then uh, for the midsole here for this TPU that wraps around the midsole, they have like a splatter gold print. So you can kind of continue that red and gold theme. And then on the inside, you actually have custom insoles as well. So the insoles here are Manila on this one, if I can get it out. So this one says Manila, so you can see that there, which is very cool. And then on this one, it says to the world. I actually just says, just says world. So the purpose of this collaboration is to speak about Manila's passion for basketball and taking that passion to the world. So you have Manila, world, and then it has Titan, and then it has the Manila Philippines, and then it has the location there if you need the longitude and latitude in case you wanted to travel there by boat, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but it has that information there on the insoles as well. So big shout out to them. I love that they're considering their culture and how much their culture loves basketball and using basketball as a vehicle to introduce the Filipino culture to the world, which I think is really dope. And also show how much they love basketball and how much they have, they care for the culture of basketball there as well. And for the final details on here, it's actually on the overlay of the shoe. This is also celebrating the 10th anniversary of Titan as well as the love of basketball. So imprinted in the overlay are all of the different logos and icons that they've used over at Titan. So again, you have the lightning bolt, you have the F-L-O-T-G, you have Manila, you have the T for Titan. And one of the really cool things they have, where is it, is right here on the lateral side right near the heel of your foot. And the, just FYI, the way that this pattern works is the pattern on the left shoe on the lateral side is the same pattern as the right shoe on the medial side. And then they flip flop that, if that makes sense. But more importantly, the logo here is of a barber chair. So the tart, uh, so the tart, so the Titan shop in the Philippines, it has a barber shop as part of it. So there's the barber shop and then there's a the sneaker store. And when they originally started the store back in the day, I think, I'm not sure how many years it was into the store being open, but one of the barber chairs actually burned 
down and it almost burned down the entire shop and they had to close and they had to rebuild. So they have the logo of a, a barbershop chair that's on fire as one of the logos, which I think is really dope. Again, it's about the history. It's not about hiding the history. It's about acknowledging what has gone through, what you went through to get where you are. And now they're on their second collaboration with LeBron James. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the past model that uh, I unboxed here on the channel. It was called the Agimet, Agimet, Agimat, I believe it was, Agimet or Agimat, but it was the LeBron 16, it was a low as well. And I'm really excited for them. It's really dope in my mind that they're able to get a collaboration that's like officially sanctioned by Nike. In addition to that, LeBron actually wore these in the NBA while he was in the bubble so again as a store you know having one of the biggest or you know arguably the biggest athlete in the world wear a shoe that was designed by your sneaker store and wearing them on court in the NBA that's crazy that's insane that's a huge deal so again uh, big shout out to the Titan family I appreciate you guys sending these over uh, again if you want to get yourself a pair of these they are really difficult to come by right now just because of shipping delays and everything going on with COVID uh, but definitely make sure you stay tuned to titan22.com that's where they have more information and uh, obviously the resale sites because stuff like this will definitely pop up there because it's super unique and it is super limited anyway uh, with that being said as always I appreciate you guys like favorite and subscribe if that's something you really want to do again you don't have to there's no it's not mandatory just enjoy the content all right y'all i'll see you soon peace